whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and as you're heading out to the golf course today, of course, we're here home for weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Damon Singleton is downright chilly outside this it, morning. It, it is. It is downright chilly. I've, I've been talking about how much cool, cooler it is this morning than it was yesterday morning. Tomorrow morning in Ponchatoula. You heard that, Mama? Ponchatoula. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Ponchatoula, you're probably going to be in the upper 30s. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, there's another front coming through. Now, tonight. a question for you, though, because we, we just planted strawberries a couple of weeks ago. Are Ooh. we at the point now where we could be getting some frost on those we, berries or, or anything like that that can harm some of the crop? You know, the, the possibility exists because, uh, you know, some of the models actually have us at the freezing mark. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's going to get that cold, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Uh, so take a look at your headlines. Uh, the cold front, there's another cold front coming through this evening. Uh, that's going to mean that our pressure grading is going to tighten up quite a bit. So you will notice throughout the day today that the winds are going to be increasing, especially late afternoon and into the evening hours. Uh, that cold front is going to bring in much cooler air to the area as well. It's going to be the coldest weather since last April. And uh, you're definitely going to need the jackets for tonight, uh, for this morning, and definitely for tomorrow morning. So get ready for some cold air. As this frontal boundary continues to make its way across southeast Louisiana, bringing in uh, all that cool air, it's dry air. The uh, rainfall chances are going to remain pretty much non existent, and the humidity levels are going to stay very, very low. You can see the dry air moving into uh, southeast Louisiana right now. That's going to continue for the rest of the day today. So, our radar picture, it is clear now. It's going to be clear all day today and through the weekend. In fact, I think it's going to be. Well, I think we're going to be pretty much rain free through about Tuesday of next week. Here's a look at the forecast model. Notice as I put it into motion that there's not too much activity across the area showing up at all. No cloud cover showing up. None of that green indicating the potential for uh, rainfall across the area. At the airport right now, the temperature is 56 degrees. A few clouds out there, 75% humidity. The winds are relatively light across southeast Louisiana right now, but that again is going to change dramatically later on this afternoon and this evening. So if you're going out to Voodoo, Fest, you're going to notice some strong winds. As if you're trick or treating tonight, you're going to notice some strong winds. If you go into the two lane game, you're going to notice some strong winds. Here's a look at our hour by hour forecast. I think by 9 a.m., we'll all find ourselves somewhere in the uh, mid 60s for the most part. Uh, by noontime, looks like upper 60s, low 70s. Your highs this afternoon might get up to about 78 degrees at the airport, probably more like 75 or 76. And then by 6 p.m., we're back down into the upper 60s with that northwesterly wind, probably about 15 to 20 miles per hour staying with us all night long. So your two-lane uh, game forecast, probably about 66 degrees at kickoff with some clear and cool conditions. Uh, that strong wind, you're going to need something on, a sweatshirt or a jacket. If you're doing the Jazz Half Marathon tomorrow morning, 47 degrees, I'm thinking it's the temperature when this thing kicks off in the morning, sunny and cool conditions. Those winds outside are going to make it feel even cooler than it actually is. And here's a look at your ties. And as you can see, uh, they're down a little bit from yesterday, but still pretty, uh, pretty decent. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast and the sunshine, the sunshine, the sunshine, the sunshine, and the clouds are back by the middle of next week. That is Susan Isaacson. More weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Thanks, Damon Singleton.